Come on. Come on, man. Recognize. Ever had when your face ID just doesn't work? No matter what you try? Fear not. This video. In this video, we're gonna look at how you can solve your face ID issues. Let's get into it. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be talking about Face ID and basically if there's any issues or anything like that that you guys are going through, then what can you do in order to sort that out? So let's get right into it. Now Face ID has arguably been a game changer. Uh, I mean just the ability to have it on the table and just look at it and unlock it right away is it's it's quite convenient. Now Face ID is how we get inside our phones and sometimes when there's hiccups and you're not able to use it properly, it can get frustrating. And that's why we thought we'd put this list together in order for you guys to troubleshoot it at home. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now before I mention point one, I just wanna quickly talk about a disclaimer. I know Face ID does not work with the mask currently. However, there are rumors floating out there that Face ID may be working in a future update with masks, but that's yet to be seen or discovered. It's it's not out yet, at least at the time of this recording. Now, the first point is you gotta make sure that your phone has Face ID. Now, I know this seems very basic, but you'd be surprised how many, how many iterations of iPhones we've had and people actually do get confused at which phones have Face ID and which don't. I mean, easy answer, if your phone doesn't have one of those circle home buttons at the bottom, then it most likely has Face ID. So if you have anything from iPhone, iPhone 10, 10R, 10S, or 10S Max, and onwards, then you're good. You have Face ID. The second step you can take is just make sure if your phone is completely up to date. Sometimes these devices, their phones, they're like computers, they get bugs. And in order to sort those bugs out, Apple tends to send out quite a few updates here and there. So if you want to check if your phone has an update, just jump into the settings. Let's go into general. You're going to go into the second item here, which is software update, and it's going to check for an update. And voila, my, thing, my phone is completely updated to 14.3. So you want to basically check, make sure that your phone is completely up to date. Now, some of these updates tend to be pretty big. So one of the errors that you may get when you're trying to update is you don't have enough space especially if you have like a 64 GB iPhone and you know you've been indoors for like a year now and you've just been downloading a whole bunch of games and movies to kind of just watch on your phone now let's say if you don't have enough memory then what you can do is just maybe just delete some of the apps that you're not using just to try to free up some space and then go ahead and run that update and then you can download those apps that you need uh, later on when you have a little more memory cleared up now if you want to know how you can clear up some more memory and make your iPhone super fast we actually just released a video on the channel I'm gonna link it right up here somewhere uh, go check that out we're gonna talk in that we give you a whole bunch of tips and tricks on how you can make your phone super fast and it will also save you some storage while you're at it. So make sure you guys go check that out after this video. So once you're done any updates, then check if Face ID works. If it still doesn't, then let's go on to step number three. And step number three, we're gonna go into our phone again. Scroll down until you see Face ID and passcode. We're gonna click there. It's gonna ask you for your passcode. Let's just enter that and voila. Now in this now in this area, you're gonna see a whole bunch of options such as phone unlock, iTunes and App Store, Apple Pay, password autofill. Now what this basically means is Face ID is being used for all of these things. So when it says phone unlock, that means it will use Face ID to unlock your phone. So just make sure all of these are green so that you have them turned on. Uh, Cause sometimes you may have something turned off and that's why maybe it's not triggering you for Face ID. So basically for step number three, you wanna go in and make sure that all those items are turned on or whichever items you wanna use Face ID for. Now the next tip seems a little bit obvious, but you'd be surprised at how many people could possibly mess this up. I mean, hey, it's tech, sometimes it's finicky, right? So it could be possible you get into this menu and you realize that, you know what, I haven't even set up Face ID. So in that case, what you wanna do is actually go ahead and set up Face ID. It's basically gonna ask you to plop your face into like the circle and you're gonna have to kind of just rotate your head around uh, a couple times and uh, voila, you're gonna have Face ID set up. Okay, now on to the next step, and this may be one of the most common problems that I've seen happening, is there may be something that's obstructing or covering face, like the Face ID sensors. Uh, so just wanna make sure that those things are not covered and they're unobstructed, or they could be dirt or crime buildup around that area that could be coming in between the sensor and um, the screen protector, and that's 
causing the sensors to not work properly. So what you can basically try to do is maybe just try taking off that screen protector and seeing if Face ID actually works for you. Once you take off that screen protector, just make sure you just wipe down that area with a soft microfiber cloth or a screen uh, cleaner, just to make sure that, you know, there's no dirt or anything in that area. Uh, also keep in mind that it only works in portrait mode. It won't really work in landscape mode yet. Would have been kind of cool to have that because there's a lot of times where like I'm watching like a movie or watching YouTube or something like that. And and I have my phone like this and I just wanna unlock it. But no, you gotta kinda of turn it over to portrait mode unlock it and then go back to your uh, horizontal mode, landscape mode. Now, the question that we get often is sunglasses. Does it work with sunglasses? So in our experience, majority of the sunglasses do work. However, there are some sunglasses that kind of block light that's coming towards your eyes and to a certain extent where your face ID sensor is not able to read your eyes as well. So in that case, you might have to take off your sunglasses in order to get a reading. But in most cases, sunglasses have been fine. Now to further elaborate on how you hold your phone when you're doing face ID. Also keep in mind that it's gotta be like 10 to 20 inches away from your face uh, and it's gotta be within arm's reach. Like it doesn't really pick it up if it's really far away uh, or if it's like lying on a table and at like certain angles, it won't pick it up. However, if you were to like kind of just bend your head over, like my, my phone just unlocked right now. Now for the last two items, we're gonna go back into our settings menu into face ID and passcode settings. And then for the last setting, basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna to set up an alternate appearance. Now, for some reason, let's say you decide to grow out like a full out beard and like your mustache is coming in like, and you're coming in strong, or let's say you have long hair and now you decided to just go bald, right? Or you just got your hair cut really short. So in that case, I would go ahead and set up an alternate appearance as well, just in case if you're constantly changing the way you look. And last but not least, if all of that doesn't work and Face ID is still a bust for you, what you can try to do is in the same menu, you're gonna see an option for reset Face ID. So you're gonna hit reset Face ID and that just kind of just resets the whole thing and you can go ahead and re-register your face and everything and see if that works. Now, if even that doesn't work, then that means there's probably something that is wrong with your sensors or it could be a hardware problem. In that case, I would probably just call into Apple or maybe even just, even better, just book a Genius Bar appointment and go in and tell Apple you've tried all of these things, maybe even show them this video and tell them that you've tried everything here and it still doesn't work. So that is your last resort and hopefully Apple customer service is phenomenal and hopefully they should be able to help you out there. All right, so that's about it for today. Hopefully if you guys are having issues with your Face ID, we were able to help you out in this video. Uh, make sure you guys go ahead and sub to the channel. We pump out weekly content that will give you tips and tricks on how you can use your phones, your laptops, or tech in general a lot better and hopefully help you guys. So make sure you guys sub to the channel. If we helped you out in this video, make sure you guys go ahead and give us a like in the video down below. Check out some of the other videos we have. We've been putting out some tips and tricks and hacks for your iPhone and other devices. And also we do a crazy unboxing once a month. So go ahead and check out those videos. And until then, we will see you guys in the next one. Take care.